Now, a wonderful and a tricky question of number systems. Now, for this question, since options are not given, so we'll have to use a method of trial and error to find out uh, the correct answer for this question. Okay. Now, question says that if 5046 factorial is completely divisible by n factorial multiplied by n factorial factorial. So look at the second term in the denominator carefully, the factorial of n factorial. Okay. So uh, also n is given as a natural number, obviously, because uh, they have used it in factorial. And we have to find out the maximum possible value of n such that this expression is true as in four, uh, 5046 factorial is completely divisible by n factorial multiplied by the factorial of n factorial. Okay. Now I'll try to estimate the value of n. Now 5046, let's look at this number uh, and we'll find out the value of n such that n factorial is equal to 5046 or very near to 5046. Okay. Now we know that uh, 5 factorial is equal to 120, 120. 6 factorial is equal to 720, 7 factorial is equal to 5040. Yes, 5040 is near to 5046. So I'll assume the value of n as 7 to start with. Okay, so 5046 factorial when divided by n factorial that is 7 factorial which is uh, uh, 5040. I'll write it as 7 factorial and the factorial of 5040 that is 5040 factorial. So if I divide this. So 5046 factorial and 5040 factorial, a lot of terms will get cancelled and in the numerator I'll be left with 5041 multiplied by 5042 and so on up till 5046. Okay, and in the denominator I'll be left with 7 factorial. Okay, now look at the numerator. Starting from 5041 up till 5046, these are six terms and you will observe that none of these terms is divisible by 7. So if none of these terms is divis not divisible by 7, then the entire product will not be divisible by 7 factorial. Okay, because 5040 is divisible by 7 and after that 5047. So 5040 and 5047, 5047, these will be divisible by 7 and none of these terms in the middle of, uh, in between 5040 and 5047 will be divisible by 7. So I can say that 7 will not be the possible value of n. Okay, so I'll take one value, one number below 7. So now I'll assume that n is equal to 6. So let's take n as 6. So 6 factorial will be equal to 720 and let's see if 5046 factorial is divisible by 6 factorial into 720 factorial. Now again we'll cancel out some terms among 5046 factorial and 720 factorial and a lot of terms will be left. So up till 720 everything will get cancelled so starting from 721 multiplied by 722 multiplied by 723 and so on up till 5046 all these terms will be left a number of these terms is more than 4000 so more than 4000 terms are left in the numerator more than 4000 consecutive numbers are left in the numerator and i have to check if it is divisible by 6 factorial or not now you can very well say that yes the numerator here, which is a product of more than 4000 terms, 4000 consecutive terms will be definitely divisible by 6 factorial. I just need 6 consecutive numbers in the product to make it divisible by 6 factorial and we have more than 4000 terms. So yes, this will be completely divisible. So the maximum possible value of n will be equal to 6. And yes, this is the correct answer. All right, let's move on to question number eight.